Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with a guest. I've got Kana Campbell from Sugar Mama TV and if you haven't heard of her channel before, she does this wonderful channel providing a lot of financial advice. Financial advice, financial inspiration and motivation. I'm all about empowering um, women around the world to have a better relationship with money, like know how to look after their money, how to invest it, how to set themselves up financially for life because it's not rocket science and if you Little changes can make the most amazing difference. And she also, every Thursday, does lifestyle love, so she does a lot of fashion videos as well, and mm. capsule wardrobes, if you guys are into that. And I'll pop some of my favorite videos of hers in the description box below. So we're doing a bit of collaboration, where on my channel we're talking about our top three investment pieces, and then over on Hannah's channel... We're talking about how to shop on a budget. Sometimes you want to pull off a, a beautiful million dollar outfit, and it can be challenging when you don't have the funds. So I'm going to be picking Jamie's mind and brain <laughs> as to how to pull off a beautiful look. So I'm actually a licensed financial advisor. So when I'm going to invest in something, I'm going to make sure it's really worthwhile. I'm going to make sure I save up for it. I'm going to make sure I research where's the best place to buy it for the best price. What's the best quality and is it going to really work with my wardrobe? Because if you are buying something that's really special, you want to make sure that you wear it as much as possible because that's when you get your dollars per wear. Yeah, and it's also about buying the best that you can personally afford because not everyone out there can afford to spend two and a half thousand dollars on a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> so to get started, um, one of the first things I want to talk about is a coat. And in the winter time, this is your best friend. You wear it every single day. This one actually used to belong to my mother, and it's from Ashley Fogel. It's a wool and angora mix, and it looks just really luxurious. Mm. And then with the silver hardware as well. Yeah. But I just really think that it's worth investing in something like this because when it is cold, you're going to be wearing it every single day. And if you buy something that's really cheap, it's going to show. The wear is going to show over time. Exactly. And also, I find with cheap fabrics, they absorb um, odors and they have to be dry cleaned a lot more often. And dry cleaning can be really expensive, especially over the long run. Yeah. But I love that it's your mum's. Like it's obviously <laughs> so well made. It's so classic. It's lasted, you know, two generations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's my first investment piece. Well, you know what, off the back of jackets and coats, I'm going, this is actually a recent investment purchase. It's a Balmain um, blazer. Now, I work in finance, and so I have to be in a blazer when I'm speaking in front of clients. Um, but, and I actually saved up for this, and I had, I guess, more lower end <clears throat> blazers in the lead up to this investment. So mm -hmm. I've wanted one of these for a very, very long time, but obviously couldn't afford it. And it was a large amount of money to just justify the investment. So I bought the cheaper ones. And as I discovered, they were wearing out, the, the color was fading, yeah. um, the quality started to sort of diminish. And I realized that actually, that when you add up the blazers over time, they can actually be quite expensive. So a couple of my good friends have these, and I've always like loved them. They said they're They've lasted a lifetime. They're mm -hmm. blazers they've had for years and years. And it, the great thing about this is I wear this to work, um, like with a pencil skirt, and mm -hmm. it's great. And I can look, go from a very casual to a very sophisticated look. But I also wear this, I'll wear this to a wedding that we're coming mm -hmm. up, and I will put it over a beautiful cocktail dress, and it will really dress it up. It also keeps me warm. And then on the weekends, I wear this, you know, with jeans and a stiletto heel. And again, it just it can take an outfit and just completely transform it to a much different more sophisticated chic look which I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. So when yeah, I definitely. invested in this I <laughs> shopped around, I went through all the websites to find out what was where was the best place to buy this and um, I was very lucky I actually got a discount code so I was able to save more money and I paid for it in cash so I did not get into any credit card debt buying this and so when it arrived I knew I deserved it and I enjoyed it and I enjoyed it guilt free which is really important that's what I practice preach I should say <laughs> on my on my YouTube channel. I think it's really important to invest in things like that particularly if you are wearing it every day for work. Mm. I have a blazer from Helmet Lang which I bought five years ago almost six years ago and it still looks brand new. And brands like that I think are so chic like you can pay a bit more because you know they're going to last a long time and they're going to work with pieces in your wardrobe. Yeah. So the second thing I want to mention is a 
nice leather handbag. So the one that I've got here is from Parenza Schooler. It's definitely warm because I haven't babied it at all, but I have had it for five and a half years now. The leather is impeccable quality, it is really sturdy, and it is a bag that I've worn basically every single day since I've gotten it. I don't have too many bags in my wardrobe and it just really fits in with my lifestyle. I think kind of purchasing something like that that's going to be able to work for your lifestyle um, and that you are spending a little bit more money on is going to stand the test of time. Yep, I completely agree. Yeah. Okay, on the note of handbags. Now, this is another handbag. I bought this probably six years ago and I bought it off eBay um, and I bought it I mean, I'm horrified at what people are paying for these now. Oh my god, now. they're like $6,000, $7,000 now, I think. I think. They're like hitting, approaching eight almost now, like I, which I think is obscene. I bought, bought this from the US, like a US um, uh, vendor um, through eBay, and I bought it when the Australian dollar was very strong. So I think I paid just under $4,000 for mm. it, which again, it was a huge investment, but I saved up for it. But I absolutely love this handbag. He's gone to so many events and so many places with me because it's a really versatile piece. Obviously, it's, it was made in 1940, so it's timeless. But it's got it's a leather bag, but then it's also got the silver hardware, which I think, again, makes it quite chic and sophisticated. With this, I can adjust the straps. So I can wear it, obviously, like this, which is how most people wear it. But you can also adjust it um, and wear it across the body or just on um, one side. And it's a really good size. And again, I can wear this to a client, take this to go and see a client, or I can put it on with a cocktail dress or a little black dress and it looks great. And even just, you know, with jeans and ballet flats and this, it's just, I would never ever sell this on eBay. This is something I absolutely love and I can't, I love that I will hold on to this and then I will pass on to my daughters or, or grandchildren, mm -hmm. granddaughters, um, you know, in the future and it's, I think this is something very special to me. And, um, again, I've enjoyed it guilt free. Yeah, yeah, and the quality is impeccable as well. Yeah. Uh, well, the last investment piece I wanted to mention is a good pair of jeans. So I've got a pair here from J Brand, and I really do think it is important to spend a little bit more money on jeans. I think a lot of people tend to wear them every single day. Um, I mean, I have the luxury of actually being able to wear jeans to work oh, because I'm so lucky. <laughs> since I work in a more casual environment, and I find that when I have spent less money on jeans, they tend to wear out a lot faster. Like I've, the I love top shop shades, yeah. and, they, um, and they, lose, they lose their shape as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they stretch, like yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I do love top shop jeans, but I find you have to replace them every maybe five to six months because. They do lose their shape in the wash, mm. and yeah, they, they just aren't the same. So I think it's worth investing in a more expensive pair. Uh, these ones I've had for five years. Since they great. still look brand new. So I think, yeah, I think when you do spend that extra money, you tend to get the quality that you're paying for. And a lot, you can buy a lot of jeans on eBay. Like I bought some um, frame uh, jeans on eBay for like I think eighty dollars, and mm -hmm. I love them, and they they're perfect. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this isn't really a wardrobe piece. Um, this is something that I bought probably um, maybe eight or nine years ago, and I absolutely love it. It's, this is what I um, travel around with. Um, so if I go away for the weekend or if I'm going on a international flight, this is my carry-on bag. I, I love what they do. They actually have like put my initials oh, on the tag. Oh, you've got a hot stand. Yep. I love that. I like it. It just <laughs> kind of makes it so much more personal. But. Mm. There's something about you know standing in an airport. It used to feel it feels quite glamorous and um, chic, and um, it just again helps you look a bit more put together. Because sometimes if you're doing a flight from Australia somewhere in the world, it's been a long flight, you're looking great, but at least you look like you're kind of standing there looking reasonably stylish. And it's a good size for a weekend away because you can fit you know a couple of clothes, uh, my makeup, shoes, jeans, everything falls up quite neatly, and um, it's been everywhere around the world with me. It doesn't and look I, nine years old either. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's, it's been thrown around, but it's so, <laughs> it's so well made. It just, and I, it, every time I look at something I mark on, I'm like, it's just more loved mm. and it's, it's got more history to it, which yeah. makes it even more special to me. So yeah, I actually think that may be even 10 years old, but yeah, that's one of my special investments. <laughs> so those were our top three pieces that we feel that are worth investing in. Don't forget to go and check out the video that we filmed on Kana's channel, where we'll be talking about how to invest in your wardrobe when you're on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye! <laughs>